pardoning himself would just be unthinkable. Well, that question has never been litigated. Uh, the question of self-pardons is something I've never analyzed. Hey, it's Warren Kinsella for Sun Media. Thanks for tuning in. You know, there's about 60 days left in Donald Trump's presidency, and one of the powers that he's got as president is to pardon people for federal crimes. Legal scholars say that Trump can absolutely pardon anybody for a federal crime. They say that he could even pardon his family. Some think he could pardon himself. The presidential pardon power actually can even extend to crimes that haven't taken place yet. Now all this is pretty important because about two years ago the New York State Attorney General went after the Trump Foundation. Trump Foundation was a charity started up by Donald Trump. They accused him of self-dealing, so basically breaking charity rules and breaking election rules. They brought in the IRS and the Federal Election Commission. New York's Attorney General had a two-year investigation of the Trump Foundation. They said that monies for the charity were used to prop up Donald Trump's businesses, was used to influence officials. They said they even spent $10,000 on a portrait of Donald Trump. But that's not the only trouble that Donald Trump has got. The suggestions that there were gifts given to him as president. There's suggestions that he paid off porn stars to keep them quiet. There's even been suggestions that he engaged in tax evasion and tax fraud. For example, in one year, he received a $73 million tax refund and he only paid $750 in taxes. It's not just Donald Trump who may be in trouble once he leaves the White House. There's suggestions his family may be too. For example, his daughter Ivanka, while she was an employee of the Trump Organization, was paid $700,000 as a consultant, even though she wasn't a consultant. Media critics believe that Ivanka and her husband, Jared Kushner, could be facing some state-level investigations when they head back to New York City. Some say this explains why Donald Trump is very reluctant to leave the White House. As soon as he becomes a private citizen, he's subject to criminal prosecution like any other American citizen is. Over the next 60 days or so, it's going to be awfully interesting to watch. I'm Warren Kinsella for Sun Media. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and your favorite platforms.